go into the Spider-Verse trailer. Anything there okay. really catch your eye? You stayed for the end credits of the first Spider-Verse. None wow. of this should be a surprise. And what are you doing here if you hadn't stayed for the end credits? <laughs> so we've got uh, Spider-Gwen. I don't know if we're going to call mm -hmm. her Ghost Spider yet, as is the official corporate branding of her. Uh, she's come back through the portal and snuck up on Miles while he's laying in bed. And then you've got mm -hmm. Oscar Isaac, Spider-Man uh, 2099. 2099, uh, right. Uh, shoot, what's his name? It's another Latino name. I forgot it. Oh uh, my anyway, gosh, I can't believe I forgot it now either. Oh, you feel, got that character, bad. and it looks like yeah. they're getting into a little tussle and, you know, another new art style there. Lord and Miller had already confirmed to some outlet that uh, Supaida Man from the Japanese live action show, you know, the precursor to the Power Rangers, is going to be mm -hmm. in Spider Verse 2. So, whew, I'm looking forward to this. Um, yeah, what? yeah. There was also there was also the tone for Prowler's theme that was heard briefly. Okay. Yeah, so there. I don't know how they're gonna do that because I think you know Prowler, Prowler is dead in, mm -hmm. in the first mm -hmm. one, but you know who knows? It's in you know, comic books, so anybody can come back. Yeah, so. always, always, all the time. And if not the same one from that universe, then a different one from another universe. Yeah, exactly. See, that's the thing about multiverses. You know, all bets are off. Anything can happen. Um, here's here's some that that mm -hmm. was, as far as like my Twitter was concerned. Um, a Miles's hair is a lot different; it's a little bit fluffier, so people are like, "Yo, you gotta put something in his hair, man. Get his hair right." Um, and then the second thing is, it's a big thing, in, especially in the Black Twitter space, was Miles's mm -hmm. Jays. He had the Jordan ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we get a chance to see Gwen Stacy in her Converse. You know, she got some chucks right, right. on. Instead of the ballet shoes. Yeah, so she rocks some chucks. I don't know if it's because of, you know, maybe they got some kind of contract that's going on with Nike. Because I think Nike owns Converse. I think. Right, they do. Um, so does that mean we're getting rid of the, was it Adidas the last time? Oh, we're not talking about the Adidas in the video game. No, we we, we don't talk about, we don't speak of the Adidas. It's always the Jordan. Oh, right, that ones, was the video baby. game. That was right, that's right, that's right. That <laughs> it was, was just a big controversy game. about the shoes. Yeah. It's important to yeah, the but character. You know what? Yeah, but you know what though? Like it's been like I think there was an article about four days ago regarding mm -hmm. Shang Chi, and he was rocking some Jordans as well, and that, that started yes, trending. Uh, so I mean, there was there were one of the original Keaton Batman's wore wore Jordans. Um, I think it was another oh, really? superhero. So yeah, so it's um I mean it's not it's not completely like new. I'm just happy to see us you know in, in, embracing a very iconic type mm -hmm. of brand. <laughs> so. Of, okay, we're expanding the Spider-Verse further. It's Across the Spider-Verse is the name of it. What right. alternate Spider-Men or Spider-People are you looking forward to? Like for me, Supida man and Leopardon, you gotta have Leopardon. So, yeah. And you know, the Emissary from Hell from Planet Spider, mm -hmm. that is my yeah. number one. Mm -hmm. uh, there, There's one, I've only heard about it. Uh, I've never actually even seen the comic, but apparently there's a Spider-Man that is actually made of, of thousands of <laughs> sentient spiders <laughs> yes. that fill up the Spider-Man suit. Spiders, <laughs> man. There we go. I wouldn't mind seeing a cool little like dig at Spiders, man. That'd be kind of oh, fun. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man! Oh. Or if they break the fourth wall, because like in uh, the Lego Movie, that is both mm -hmm. in the CG Lego world and also in Meat Space, you know, the human mm -hmm. world. Like if they break mm -hmm. into live action here, I'm sign me up. You know, like they were crossing art styles already in the first movie, and yeah. if they continue to do that, that's great. If they do a stop motion one, I don't think there's ever been a stop motion or claymation Spider-Man, but I'm down for that. Give it yeah, to why me. Why not? Yeah, exactly, man. I really want them to go back to that old 80s Spider Man with the pointing, you know, just go back to that yeah, again yeah, yeah. and just like live in that verse. The electric company, for at least, you know, back in the like, 70s like a good also. minute or so. Teach us some things. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And even, you know, it would be really funny if they are going to go live action. I'd mm -hmm. rather them go like the old 80s live action. No, 70s. I mean, it was like late, late oh, 70s. Oh, right, right, right. With the live really thick ass rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you're going to do it, like it'll be really fun to like really keep it, keep it tongue in cheek. Um, so, you know, just, just, just have some fun with it. I'm just more excited after, after seeing so many art studios flex what they're capable of doing artistically, mm -hmm. I am really excited to see, uh, the Spider-Man franchise, like tweak the different art styles per, per the universe. This is what I'm, it's what I'm hoping they're doing because, you know, they, they showed us that a lot. They showed like good examples of that in the first Spider-Man. So I just, I just want to see the art flex a little bit more. That, that's my only really big expectation. I think the story is going to be good. The voice acting was mm -hmm. phenomenal. I just want to see the art flex more.